Today you're going to get a sheet that has a color wheel on it as well as some art math where it shows your primary colors being added together to create a secondary color. You are going to begin today by getting out your model magic. Model magic is kind of like clay. It does not require a kiln. It's kind of softer and spongier, but it's a kind of type of clay that we can use for modeling. You are gonna take out kind of your half. So I'm gonna take out my red and put it on my red. Take my blue and my yellow. So I've taken out my primary colors. Now you might notice that we actually don't have any secondary colors, we just have primaries. So these smaller pieces I'm gonna take and put over here on our equations. So I'll put the red in the blue and I will put my yellow and red and then I will put my yellow and blue here. Now this is the fun part. If you take two primary colors and you mix them together, it will make a secondary color. If I look on the color wheel at red and yellow, I notice that in between them is orange. So when I mix red and yellow, I should get orange. You can smush them together, kind of pull them a little bit, and you're gonna kind of pull and kind of twist and massage, and you're gonna keep on mixing your red and yellow until you notice that it looks like it's become orange. I'm starting to see that orange mixture. When you have mixed up your first secondary color, it's up to you, you can put it here, I'm gonna put it over here on my color wheel with my other ones. You're gonna continue mixing your other primary colors together until you have a complete color wheel. Once you have completed your color wheel and you've used your primary colors to mix your secondary colors, then we're going to turn these clay or sorry, these clay pieces or model magic pieces into beads. We're going to do a really fun technique where we swirl our colors together. So you're going to take your mat and you're going to flip it over to the back. And the very first thing you're going to do is create a clay form called a coil. So you're going to take your clay or your model magic and you're just going to roll it kind of like you're making a little snake. And it needs to be about the length of what you see here. So I'm going to roll all of my model magic pieces into small coils and set them on my mat. Now we're going to take all the little coils you made and if yours got stuck together a little bit, it's okay, because we're gonna kind of roll them all up so they're kind of all one piece. And you're gonna take this, and you are going to roll it on your table to join them all together. And you're gonna notice that all of your pieces are kind of rolling back together. Now, you could kind of leave it like this if you wanted to, or you can do one more fun thing where you take your piece and you Kind of twist it and some kids even like to fold it in half and twist it one more time once you've twisted it once or twice then you're going to roll it out to be about the size of the giant coil you see here so i'm going to take that and roll it out to about the size that I see on my paper. So that's pretty cool. All right, I've got one long coil. Now it is time to cut. So using a popsicle stick, you're gonna use these lines as your guide and you're gonna hold it and you're gonna put it over a line and you're just gonna kind of press down pretty hard. It might not cut it all the way through and that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and press on all of my lines and if I do that, I should get eight kind of pieces. So I'll press here and here and here. And once I've kind of cut them, I can then take it and it should pop right off. And then all of these pieces just need to get rolled into a sphere. So I'll roll all of those pieces up. Our last step is we want these spheres to become beads. So the thing that it's missing right now is a hole in the middle for string to go through. This part can be a little tricky, but you're gonna do your best. 
you are gonna take one of your spheres and you're gonna take this skewer and you're gonna try to put it right in the middle and gently kind of pinching and twisting, you are gonna slide that little sphere all the way to the bottom. And notice that I'm kind of rolling it and twisting it. Sometimes it gets stuck. All of these need to go on your skewer. So I'm kind of going slow and kind of twisting it to get it to go through and then kind of sliding it all the way down. Now, once they're all on your skewers, you don't want them to touch each other or they might get stuck together when they dry. So I'm gonna try and slide them all on. And I like to leave about the width of my finger kind of in between each piece. So go ahead and get all of your spheres slid onto your skewer so that they can become beads. Once you have all of them on, if some of them look a little bit weirdly shaped, you can kind of sort of roll them back up or kind of fix the shape a little bit and push those kind of parts down. And just make sure that they're nice and kind of spaced out. Again, none should be touching. Make sure you can give it a little twist so it's not stuck on your skewer. Kind of twist it gently. And once you have all of them on and they're all spaced out, the most important thing at the end here is that right now they kind of all look the same. So if you want to get back yours, you're gonna take your little name tag and you're also going to kind of skewer your name so that I can keep your beads with your name tag and you'll get them back next time.